Welcome to a Blender tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create such a printed comic dot shader to use it on all of your objects and scenes. Let's get started. At first, make sure your renderer is Eevee. Then create a new material which you assign to all objects in the scene which should have this shader. In this case, it's every object. Then open the shader editor. Plug the window outlet of a texture coordinate node to the surface output. By this, you map the texture space exactly to the camera view, starting on the bottom left-hand corner. Then connect a mapping node in between and change the scale to the camera's aspect ratio. In my case, it's 16 to 9. So scale X to 16 and Y to 9. Then connect a vector math multiply node, which we will leave at 1 for now. After that, connect a vector math modulo and a vector math distance node. Set the distance to 0.5. Then connect a math add node as the last node. Now connect a shader to RGB node after the principal BSDF and connect that to the math add. We got now the base of our dot shader. To add more contrast, use a color ramp on constant and move the right slider a bit to the left. You see now that the shadows have some kind of fading. That's because they get computed several times. We can fix this by going into the render tab and changing the sample count to 1. Now the edges are very hard. So now we come to the multiply node which we prepared before. If it's on 1, we got 16 dots horizontally and 9 dots vertically. And if we raise this multiply value, we just add more dots to the image. So we can dial in our dot count of wish and can look if everything looks okay. But here we bump into a problem. You may have noticed that the viewport sometimes looks weird and the dots form different shapes. That's because the renderer has big issues displaying the right image. The dots are very small and the renderer has to find a color for a pixel where a dot is. Basically, these weird patterns appear depending on the position of the tiny white spots within a pixel. I built a little resolution pattern to explain it. All these little squares are the size of pixels of a 1080p camera. You see that it's not easy to say for the renderer which pixels are black and which are white. And when I slide the multiply node up and down, you see that the positions of these dots change as well. This is why the display of the dots is changing all the time depending on the resolution and the multiply value. So it is a bit of a trial and error game, which multiply value fits for your scene. But in general, values like 10, 20, 30 and so on are very hard and contrasty because the dots lay exactly on the borders of the pixels. You just have to change the multiply value a bit and make a test render until you find an appearance which fits your style. I made a little preview animation to show the different patterns in my scene depending on the multiply value, which is displayed on the top right hand corner. Here you can see how different the patterns can look just because of the different multiply values. Well, this was it. We are finished. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, feel free to subscribe to see more of this. Have fun dotting and see you soon.